Elvégeztetett? Gyermek halott. Igen. Az Isten megbocsát nekem! Nem volt más kiút! Az Isten gyorsítsa meg a szenvedést! Excuse me, do I know you? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought we knew each other. Uh, uh, Hang on, uh, we do know each other. You're Gail Cameron, I'm David Gillespie. I shot some stills for you for uh, Rolling Stone. Yeah, before my celebrated breakdown. Oh, uh, they'll write anything to sell a paper. What are you doing now? Well, I've had some tempting offers, but um... I don't want the same pressure again, so I'm writing strictly for myself now. Yeah, I'm going back to freelancing. I spent too long covering other people's conflicts. 
Thank you. Thank you. Donaldson, come to the reception, please. Is the seat taken? Excuse me, is the seat taken? It is now. I'm Jonathan Lane, the tennis player. Oh, it's nice to have a hobby. I'm Mary Lou Summers. No, that's what I do for work. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't have a real job. No, I play tennis. It's important to have an interest when you're out of work. <laughs> So, now that we're making such headway, what do you do for work? I'm an actress. Yeah. What restaurant do you work at? How did you know I worked at a restaurant? Are you psychic? As a matter of fact. But no one ever takes me seriously, so I'm always cast as a bimbo. Oh, I would have thought it'd take a lot of talent to play a bimbo. It does. It's not easy pretending to be stupid. Richard, why can't I come to the castle with you? No, no, it had nothing to do with me. I was just one of the eight people selected out of everyone that applied for a visa. You could have said no when you knew I didn't get an invitation. How often does anyone get a chance to see a castle that's been closed for 500 years? Besides, I'll be back at the hotel tonight. Excuse me, Mr. Hamilton. Thank you. For you, honey. Hello, <laughs> Philip. Will Mr. Donaldson come to reception, please? Mr. Donaldson to reception. Let's be hard, see? Mr. Spencer, let's be hard. Smile. Mr. Spencer, can I go to the that? Uh, I think it's that Scandinavian actress. Oh, excuse me a minute, honey. Sure. Oh, is she lovely? So what brings you to Budapest? I'm attending the opening of a castle. You're not going to believe this? No. Yeah. I saw an advert in magazines, so I... Uh... Hello, Mr. That must be one hell of a book you got there, mate. <laughs> a vodka martini, very dry with a twist. No, 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 no. A vodka with a twist. I mean, not understand. Vodka. Twist. Here. Yeah. She means this, mate. If I want your help, I'll ask for it. I'm sorry, love. And I'm not your love. No, I wouldn't want to lie on the standards. Put you off, women. No, mate. Not when you consider the alternative. You never know who you can trust. Mr. Price, the bus is waiting for you outside. Okay, thanks, love. She is very nice. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Be happy. <laughs> Miss Fenson. Yes. I am honored to welcome you to Budapest. I am Count Istvan Bezoli. You see, even here you're recognized as the queen of European cinema. You flatter me, Count. I regret we have only a bus for transportation. It's sufficient. Hey, God. Hi there. Hi. Oh, can you give me a hand, man? Thank you. Hey, why don't you give us that bag? I bet you think I planned this. You've certainly done a good job. I think it's about a two or three hours trip. We're gonna have to stop meeting like this. Permanently. Everyone seems good morning, ladies here. and gentlemen. I am your host, Count Istvan Bezoli. I see we have one person missing. Sorry, my wife. Take a seat. We certainly cut it fine.
David. Yeah? Would you have come to Hungary even if you hadn't received an invitation to the castle? I never thought about it. It's funny, I never doubted that I would be selected. It's weird. The hand of fate, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> So exciting, you being with us. Oh, so you've seen some of my films. Oh, yes, I really love those old movies. <laughs> <laughs> the castle was untouched. Through all the wars, it was never ransacked, and it remains isolated. The past of the castle is shrouded in mystery. You will be the first people to step inside the castle for five centuries. Does that mean we... Go! Oh. Oh. What the hell did we hit? Can't see anything. Nothing. An animal ran across the road. This is Peter and Susan. They'll be looking after you. Unfortunately, they speak no English. Hi, I'm Marilee Summers. I'm very pleased to meet you. They don't understand English. I am very pleased to meet you. Why don't we go inside for lunch and we'll try and see the outside a little later. Please. El akarok menni. Félek, én ezt nem csinálom tovább. Do you need your bag? Yeah, I brought a change just in case. How do we get back to the hotel? On the bus. Shall we join the others? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I see you're being well looked after. Lunch will be laid out in the great hall, which is down the stairs at the end of the corridor. Can we look around a bit first? Yes, of course, but please be careful. Most of the castle is exactly as it was 500 years ago. Excuse me. To answer your question, I think this castle does have a past, and it's a past that's been deliberately covered up. What do you mean? Well, it's only a theory, of course. But it's first impressions which are the most lasting. I think people present an image that they wish to create. And if that's not the case, then they're not true to themselves. And no, I can't agree. No, appearances are very deceptive. 
Excuse me. In this country, the customs and habits were determined by superstitious beliefs that have gone back over a thousand years. For Excuse example, me. <laughs> Thank you. No, it wasn't in Transylvania. It all began right here. About a thousand years ago in Hungary, packs of savage wolves actually terrorized this area. And legend has it that Satan was in control, taking the guise of man by day and running with the wolves at night. The devil was a werewolf. Wow, that's incredible. A person was considered evil if they even talked about evil. Consequently, evil was a topic to be avoided at all costs. And eventually, the wolves were killed off, but the fear still remains. Even today, the local peasants consider any unexplained disappearance to be the work of the world. People play roles, just as I do on the screen, according to whom they're trying to influence. Yes, but an, an intelligent person would be able to see through the illusion. Some would say the Christian church is based on superstition and fear of evil. Remember that to profess to be a Christian is to acknowledge the existence of the devil. That's not true. Fear didn't make me a Christian. I was born one. No, I think what the professor meant was that the foundation of the church was based on fear. But not an American church. Hey, now that you're not singing anymore, do you, are you still writing songs? Yeah, I'm still writing a bit. I don't understand. Well, you see, there are no records of this castle, no archives, no nothing. We know that the castle was established in the 12th century and occupied until the 15th. But after that, nothing. It's as if it never existed. So you're convinced this lack of history is deliberate? Precisely, and very directly related to the course of events that caused this castle to be abandoned. But that was 500 years ago. We're not in the Middle Ages anymore. Let me go get another drink. Right, that's cool. we'll for that one. Say something did happen here that was considered evil. There's no way that that would still exist today. That's taking superstition to the point of absurdity. What do you think, Mr. Price? What do I think about what? Appearances. Or people as they appear. For example, you, Mr. Price, you look like a man motivated by purely primary needs. Could be right, but it doesn't necessarily support the theory. When I first met you, I thought you looked like a nice person. Excuse me. <laughs> that is incorrigible. Oh, I don't know. I find him rather charming. Oh, thanks, man. Don't know what bit that Catherine Peake. Yeah? <laughs> Why don't we go take a look around outside? Yeah, I can. All right. You got it. Perhaps. But there is a secret to it here. Who knows? We might just discover why nobody set foot in this place in 500 years. Well, maybe it's something simple. Maybe they lost the key to the front door. <laughs> He's so intense. Yeah, but I think a lot of what he says makes sense. The sun didn't last too long. No. Hey, listen, you served an ace with Mary Lou yet? No, just double faults. I tell you, the trouble is, I reckon you're trying too hard. Could be. I don't know, you just, sometimes I just can't believe she's real. Oh, yeah, I reckon she's real, all right. Where are you going? Oh, I was just going off for a bit of an explore. Well, lunch is on soon. No, I'm not hungry. I'm, I'm most curious to unravel the mystery. I wonder what do you mean by that? I don't know, but I bet you ten bucks we have to send out a search party to find him. <laughs> I'm hungry. I have a feeling the professor knows more than he's telling us. He's a strange one, all right. I don't think there's any mystery. He's a historian. He can't bear the thought of a place with no history. Perhaps. I think I'll put on a pair of jeans. You mean you want to put on your long thermal underwear? Exactly. I think I'll take a look around.
Why don't you try using the subtle approach? Do you know what subtle means in California? Uh-uh. It means asking a girl if she wants orange or grapefruit juice for breakfast. Say, did you hear that? What was that? I don't know. I sound like a strange noise. It's my stomach. I'm starving. I get some lunch. I'll catch up afterwards. All right, I'll okay. see you later. Hello? Is someone there? Can't you see I'm dressing in here? This really is very rude. Did someone come into this room a moment ago? No. Everyone's off exploring the castle. You were in this room the whole time? Yeah. Well, I think I'll go and see how lunch is doing. All right. You coming? No, I'm going to finish my drink first. I'll be right down. for that. Someone locked me in. Scene. Yes, but you know I was supposed to die. Really? But I said to our director, no one gets killed on page 68 to win an Oscar. <laughs> I didn't realize you won an Oscar for that role. But I should have. <laughs> and you were a rock star. Ah, what was the operative word? Really? I never heard of you. I was probably a bit after your time. There was absolutely nothing that could be done. I don't know about it. 
because when they broke into the castle, they were all dead. You're trying to tell us everyone was dead? Yes. Three generations of family, even servants. No one was spared. Some said suicide, some said murder. Nobody knew. The Prince Regent ordered the castle closed indefinitely. And it stayed closed for 500 years. No one found out why? It was one of the most powerful families in Europe. Some say the prince knew the reason, but if he did, he took the secret with him to his grave. Is there a connection between... To even speak of it was punishable by death. Eventually, it was forgotten, and the castle slipped into obscurity. Well, why open it now? Nothing more than, as you Americans might say, a tourist gimmick. I find that hard to believe. Why couldn't they mention it? Well, we'll soon know the professor's on the case. What did you say? The professor, he said he was going to solve the mystery. You never said that before. Is it important? Excuse me. Well, I'm looking out with everyone. Oh, I'm sure it's just concerned that the professor might have gotten lost. How could he be lost? All he would have to do is shout and we'd find him. Unfortunately, that's not the case. These walls are so thick, no sound could penetrate them. <laughs> and he said to him, why don't you try acting, dear boy? <laughs> I don't know, somehow this castle seems strangely familiar. They're very much alike, castles in Europe. Great. Well, I've just booked a package of the European castle. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have some rather distressing news. Professor Dawson has seen fit to leave the castle, and unfortunately, there's an unexpected blizzard in full force. Visibility is zero. We better organize a search party straight away. We cannot. We'd be lost the moment we left the castle. I don't think we should just sit here. Peter has placed some oil lamps on the battlements. But until the blizzard ceases, we're powerless to assist. Yes, but he could freeze out there. I'm sure he'll find shelter. It just doesn't seem like the professor. Like it or not, he's gone. I very much regret that this has happened. I'm sure he'll be safe. If you'll excuse me. Well, it looks like we're not leaving here tonight. Of course, your wife can be upset. Excuse me. If we have to stay the night, I'd like to check out the accommodations. We have a hot spa. You want to try it? Okay. Does anyone else want to come to the spa with Jonathan and me? <laughs> no, uh, I'll pass. No, thanks. I have to check my uh, cameras. I think I'll stop. Excuse me, Ray. Will you have a drink with me upstairs? Yeah, sure. What if she finds out? She won't. She has no idea you're even here. We're staying at the same hotel. So I'll switch hotels as soon as we get back to Budapest. You crazy, Richard? To follow me here with your wife? What were you thinking? I didn't follow you here. I had no idea you were even going to Hungary. I thought it was the other way around. After what you did to me, you had the audacity to think I'd follow you? Look, I'm sorry about that, Catherine. But all I know is that I still want you. So what happens now? Are you going to tell her? I'm trying. Well, let me help you make up your mind. If you haven't made a decision by the time we leave the castle, I'll make one for you. And there won't be any second chances. Ray, sit down. The blizzard was forecast. What? Tom said it was unexpected, but I saw it on the teletext news at the hotel. So? So there's something going on here. Gal, I haven't got the faintest idea what you're talking about. We hit something when we were on the bus. And later on, the driver and the Count had an argument. And the bus left. Now, that's not possible. That bus is taking us back to the hotel. I'm telling you, I heard it. And there's something else. There's someone in the castle besides us. 
They came into the room where I was changing. Girl, you're about six miles ahead of me. I'm telling you, there's something wrong here, and the professor knew about it, and that's why he disappeared. Hey, slow down. This is a setup. Slow down. A fertile imagination is one thing, but you're looking for threads that just don't exist. Girl, why are you laying this on me? The professor never left the castle. His coat is still on the rack. It's ridiculous. Ray, I'll prove it to you. I'll get the professor's coat, and you look in the other room and see if you can find another entrance. Gail, now wait. Gail! Come on in. Oh, the water feels so good. I'm still not too sure about this. I thought it was only in Japan where people bathe naked. No, no, this is uh, where the thermal bath started. I mean, everybody does it, it's a custom. Mm-hmm. I thought for one minute. No, not me. And no funny business. Better the same for my mind. Hey, how about that? We have similar marks on our arms. Feel like I'm taking a bath with an X-ray machine. If there's another entrance here, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's not here. And with the last ball, he bowls us straight into victory! No working furries! see you. I was looking for Ray. Have you seen him? Why are you latching the door?
Hey, don't mess around with that. Oh, David. Man, I'm sorry. I was just taking a look. Oh, it's okay. I don't mean to jump on you. These cameras are my life. Yeah, I'm the same way with my rackets. Yeah, I tried to do this once, you know. Yeah? Yeah, I bought a semi-automatic camera and I enrolled in a class at UCLA. Which course? Figure model. Not the... Uh... <laughs> the nude model. Tell me about it. Well, I arrived with the new camera that I never worked with. And it was the kind that you, you press the shutter to take the picture and then you press it again to wind the film on. I found one of those. Yeah, well, it was totally obvious that I didn't have a clue of what I was doing. And, oh, you should have seen the model. Anyway, I'm snapping photos every angle. Photo click, photo click, photo click. And then I, at the end of the session, I hand the, the film to the lecturer who arranges all the processing. Uh -huh. Next day, he throws up the slides of the class photos and up on the screen comes a shoe and then another one. And then another one. I mean, I'm on the floor laughing my ass off until I recognize the shoe. No. Yep, 36 photographs on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Are you uh, making any progress with Mary Lou? No. But on the positive side, I couldn't be doing any worse. <laughs> hey, you want to get a drink? Yeah, sure. Hey, that Ray is one smooth operator. What do you mean? He scored with Gale. No. you choose out of Jonathan or David? They're so different. Jonathan is a playboy, very nice and very handsome, but women to him are like conquests. Any pretty woman would always turn his head. And David? David is different. He's seen a lot of life, perhaps too much for a young man. Oh, he'd fall in love and be faithful. But he is a wanderer. You could never keep him home. No wonder I can never make up my mind. I mean, it's too bad that you can't take a little bit of one guy and a little bit out of the other and create the perfect man. Ah, but then someone else would come along and you would have to change the formula. <laughs> <laughs> you are so beautiful. You must have had hundreds of admirers when you were young. You do have a way with uh, words. But yes, I suppose I did. Did you ever meet Mr. Wright? I mean, someone you really, really loved? Once. Can you tell me about him, please? He was not what you would call handsome. In fact, he was a little on the short side and he had a funny beard. But he had something. Go on. It was at this huge gala party. I was surrounded by the most handsome men in Europe. And I fox this funny little man and he asks me, have you ever slept with a billionaire? I couldn't believe the audacity of this man. I was completely offended. <laughs> what did you do? I slept with him, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, I didn't mean to intrude. Have you seen Mr. Price or Miss Cameron? I think they're having a drink in the drawing room. Thank you. I thought Dr. Peake might have been with you. No, she's, uh, I think she's in one of the other rooms. I was a little concerned. Well, I'll go find her. Gail are in there. Are you sure? 
Yeah, I'm positive. I was here an hour ago. I heard him. They sound like they were having a wild time. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Price, Miss Cameron. Gentlemen, would you lend me a hand to break the door down, please? Sure. This is impossible. The door cannot lock itself. One of the candles is missing. I wonder. Count, what are you looking for? This is what I'm looking for. Holy shit. Is this where they've gone? Possibly. Where does it lead to? I think it's an escape route from the castle. It's the only way they could have left the room. Could there be more hidden passages like this? Yes, there could. as I suspected, an escape room. That door will lead outside, and this, I'd say, connects up with the underground tunnel system beneath the castle. Well, this door is locked from the inside. Hey, what's this? They must have gone down here. Count, over here. Hey, this is Ray's. Chris, David, look at your hand. They must be hurt. Let's find them. No. This could be dangerous. We'll need the others. Come. Peter has confirmed there is a labyrinth of tunnels underneath the castle. Some lead to safety, most lead nowhere. It was designed as a maze to confuse pursuers in times of siege. You're saying that if they enter the maze, they won't be able to find their way out? It's most unlikely, especially as we know at least one of them is hurt. And aren't we also in danger of getting lost without some kind of map? Come on, there's nine of us here. That maze was designed to confuse at least 20 times that number. You proposing we just leave them down there? No, I'm saying we should consider the risk elements before making a decision. Isn't it better to wait until we can organize a proper rescue team? Oh, in the meantime, we just leave them to die. Well, what are we going to do? If we mark our way with chalk, we should be able to find our way back. Your attitude doesn't exactly inspire confidence. For God's sakes, we are talking about people's lives, not playing a word game. The longer we delay, the less chance we have of finding them. I'm afraid Dr. Peake is right. 
Don't misunderstand me. I want to find them as much as anyone. But we should consider the alternatives. There are no alternatives. I'm saying we cannot leave them. The decision must be yours. If one of them is badly hurt, they'll be waiting for us to find them. Mary Lou is right. We got to take the chance. Richard, you made your point. No one seems to share your pessimism. What's your plan? We know there are three main tunnels, entrances to the labyrinth, and the water channel that we discovered at the bottom of the stairs. I suggest we split into groups and explore each of them. Is everyone in agreement? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Dr. Peake should go with Peter. I'll go with them. Very well. You take the water channel. We'll proceed to the labyrinth. Do we have a first aid kit? I have one. Have it. A fortunate one, Dr. Peake. Before you go, when you mark the walls with chalk, indicate the direction in which you're going. The tunnels crisscross. We must avoid confusion. Right, let's go. to the labyrinth? I don't know of any. That's not to say they don't exist. Well, are we setting ourselves an impossible task then? I sincerely hope not. Once more onto the breach, their friends. That's my favorite author. Who? Ernest Steinbeck. <laughs> When we reach the bottom, I suggest that Miss Spenson comes with me. Susan goes with David, and that leaves Mary Lou and Jonathan to take the third tunnel. Just leave them, Richard. How could you even think such a thing? Well, I'm sorry I even said anything. I just feel like we're a bunch of blind mice being led around by the Pied Piper. No information, no plans, yet we blithely follow the leader. He's risking his life, too. Really, let me tell you something. You only have his word on that. Thank you. Go. What's that supposed to mean? How do we know he doesn't know the tunnel system? Because that's what he said. Oh, and that's good enough for you? Yes, I'm not a doubting Thomas. So I'm now Judas Iscariot. Yeah, that ought to do it. Anna told me about men like you. Yeah, well, she'd know. We've been going out for years. She didn't say that. No, I wasn't serious. That's what she said. What? That you're never serious. That's how she knows. <laughs> Gee, Mary Lou, I never know what you're talking about. You would if you paid attention. Wait, do you know where we're going? Sure, I've been down here a thousand times. How? I was only joking. I think we've been down this way before. Mary Lou, I know where I'm going. Jonathan, I can hear footsteps. Is there anyone there? Gail? Ray? It's probably just an echo. Come on. Jonathan, there is someone behind us. No way. Who would be following us? What if someone was following us and rubbing off the chalk marks so we couldn't find our way back? No, that's crazy. Anyway, I would have seen it. Not if we came back the other way. They'd be on the other side. Okay, okay. There's nothing here. Oh, shit. It is rubbed off. Oh, God, you're right. Come on! Jonathan, wait for me! Jonathan! That's Mary Lou. Jonathan! Where's it coming from? From the crevice in the wall. I don't hear anything. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Where are you going? Wait here and don't move. Leave your gun. In your coat, I saw it. Yes, of course, I'd forgotten. How did you know about the crevice? Just hurry up and find it. Hey, 
Caesar. down there, Catherine. We've been walking straight into danger. Someone is hurt. Can't you even recognize a cry of pain? Can't you recognize when someone's afraid for their life? Look, calm down. Yeah. What did you shoot? He was huge. I knew he was coming for me. I better have a look. No, maybe it's still alive. I don't think I killed it. Let's go before it comes. Hurry! I don't know where your head is at, Catherine. Those were gunshots. I know what the hell they were. Will you listen to me? We're going back! Damn it, I am needed! For God's sake, use some common sense. We're of use to no one unless we're alive. Richard! I don't, Take know, my I don't know what happened. I just it can't hurt you me. now. He's huge. Come on. Okay. I heard Mary Lou the camera's to find her. Keep She's running. there. I'll get it. Get it, get it. I'll get it. <laughs> my God, I'm sorry. You nearly killed me. What happened? Idiots. Mary Lou. Where's Jonathan? I was being chased, and it, it heard Jonathan, and it left me. It went after him. What went after him? It was an animal or something. It was, it was huge. I thought I was going to be killed. Enough. Out of here. Come. What was it? It was in the cave. What about Jonathan? Don't worry. We will, I promise you, find him. We will find him as soon as possible. Just shut up, Catherine! Ah! No! What the hell are you doing? Richard, he's hurt! Something about that rock. Oh, stitches. Jesus, Catherine, rocks don't fall on people. Uh -huh. Somebody's trying to kill him. That's crazy! Then you figure it out! We've heard gunshots and screams, and now he's been attacked. There's no one else here. If he was waiting for anyone, it would have been one of us. It must have been a wild animal that somehow got into the castle. It was too big for an animal. The light can play tricks. It probably distorted the size. I know what I saw. It wasn't the light. It was huge like a monster. Please, it must have been an animal. There's no other explanation. Unfortunately, now it's dead. So what sort of animal would do such a thing? There have been stories of some wolves. Children disappeared. Farm animals found with their throats. Jesus oh. Christ, give me a break. Wolf stories are invented to do away with the unknown. We happen to be intelligent people here. These stories, Mr. Hamilton, are not all fictitious. Could have been a werewolf. Werewolves don't exist. An animal wouldn't rub off chalk marks. Somebody rubbed Jonathan's chalk marks off the wall. No, I saw them when we were coming back. It's not possible. I heard footsteps. Echoes. 
these tunnels crisscross. You've probably heard one of us. And who was Peter expecting when he jumped us? He was confused. The bang on the head, the gunshot, the scream. Something coming after him. He didn't know what. There's no reason to be so suspicious. Oh, of course not. The professor disappears into a blizzard. Gail and Ray are missing. We organize a mindless search party, and now Jonathan's gone. Well, it's okay. I shot it. If I killed it, surely the danger is over. I'm sorry. I don't doubt that you shot something. But this is all a little too neat to dismiss it as some satisfactory explanation. So what's your theory? I haven't had time to create a theory. Well, I have. That animal is trapped and starving. That's why it was tracking Mary Lou and Jonathan. I believe Gail and Ray are hiding down there waiting for us. They've realized that we found the door. But with one of them being hurt, and that wild animal, they have enough common sense not to wander around in circles. Surely to God you're not advocating we go back down there. Mary Lou. Bring her over here. I feel dizzy. Put your head down between your knees. Give me a glass of water. I'm gonna give you something to make you sleep. I feel sick. Shh, it's all right, it's all right. Anna, how are you feeling? I'm okay. You should rest just in case the shock hits you. How's your ankle? It's very sore. The bed's all right? Yes, they're fine. I don't want to be alone, I'm Shh, scared. it's okay. Richard, I want to look at the Count's ankle. Would you take Mary Lou and Anna upstairs? I'm sorry about Richard. That's okay, he has a right to be angry. He's wrong. We must go back and find him. Let me look at your ankle. Thank you. It's just a spray. I'm going back down. I'm coming with you. No, you're not going anywhere. I'll go. How will you find your way? The chalk marks. You've handled everything tonight. Thank God I had a gun. <laughs> How did you know he was carrying one? I don't know. I must have seen it in his coat. You don't like the Count very much, do you? It's not that. It's just that too much has gone on here for me to dismiss everything as some coincidence or accident. Well, the Count couldn't have anticipated what was going to happen, could he? It's just what he would like for us to think. You don't think it's alive, do you? Not with five slugs in it. I guess some of my earlier bravado's wearing off. So we'll never get used to living with danger. Never. Being scared is what keeps you alive. If that's the case, I'll live forever. David, something's wrong here. Pardon? Oh, Richard can be the most insufferable pain, but he's generally right about most things, especially people. We're talking about the count, right? Let me just sound up my thoughts. Sure. You found Ray's watch at the entrance to the water channel, right? Close to it, yeah. It's not Ray's button, it's off the count's coat. What? No, I found it next to the watch. The count wasn't wearing his coat. When I went to pick up my bag underneath the coat rack, his coat fell off and there was a button missing. It's the count's button. She's so naive. I feel for her, though. She needs love. Her parents died when she was a baby. And she has no other family. So tell me about it. Excuse me? I grew up the same way. No parents, no nothing. Well, so did I. So did Catherine. That's how we met when we were tracing our natural parents. No, that couldn't be. What's wrong with you? I feel a bit strange, that's all. This is a coincidence, right? No, I just think my paranoia is finally catching. I know the Count. I can't explain how. It's like a feeling. He's an honest man, you must believe that. Well, I wish I could. But what you just said confirms my earlier suspicion. We're not here by chance. 
This is a setup. Richard, I don't like where this is heading either. I need to relax the flank. A bath will make me feel better. Will you wait with her while I clean up? Sure. Anna ran out of here. David. Sure. Wait there. I can see something. What is it? David? David? Catherine, come here. What's wrong? Oh, my God. She must have thought Jonathan was the animal. Poor Anna, she killed him. Yeah, but the animal got to him first. He must have been trying to escape. Mary Lou said it was chasing him. Maybe there's more than one. We better get out of here now. That's the wrong way. How do we get back? We're lost. There are no chalk marks. I wish we knew what we were up against. All right, which way? Your guess is as good as mine. But at least there's nothing following us. Yeah, we can be thankful for that. Wait. This way. Thank God, this is the way back. There's something wrong about all this. Something doesn't fit. What do you mean? The Count said it was an animal. That's right. It's the only explanation. But it couldn't be. I know why. No animal kills for pleasure. Nothing on Jonathan's body was touched but his throat. An animal would have ripped him apart. Tell me, what else could it be? I don't know, but whatever it is, it has human intelligence. It's Gail. It's okay, Gail. We're coming. No, David, don't go. Wait here. I'll be okay. Gail, where are you? David. David, are you all right? David? David? David, what is it?
scale as well. Professor's dead. Same thing, throat ripped out. This is some sort of bizarre ritual killing. Who, Gail? Gail, we hear. It's a werewolf. Werewolf. She said werewolf? There's no such thing. She wouldn't just say it. Those were her last words. A name. A name. She must have known who it was. It could only be the Count. He's behind the whole thing. David? Yes, I'm listening, Catherine. Damn it, I should realize before. But I couldn't accept he wasn't being straight. You agree with me, don't you? The werewolf stuff, no. The Count is setting us up to be murdered. I'm with you all the way. It is them, isn't it? Yeah. We've been fed one lie after another. We've been manipulated ever since we arrived in Budapest. We're puppets. And the Count is pulling the strings. What about the bodies? Worry about that later. It's the count we're after. You get Richard, Anna, and Mary Lou. I'll keep the others in the Great Hall. Just be careful. Here, take the gun. You're the one that's going to need it. I'll be all right. Richard, you there? Anna? God, Richard! No, you didn't kill him. His throat. Werewolf. The prophecy is fulfilled. Gail said werewolf. You found Gail. She saw the werewolf. She said werewolf before she died. He's done them. Suppose you tell us what the hell is going on here. You were not invited to this castle by chance. You were carefully screened. And each of you were selected because you have this mark on your arm. What does it mean? It's an hereditary birthmark that relates you directly to the events that occurred in this castle 500 years ago. Oh, come on, Count, you can think of a better story than that. Everyone who died here that night had the mark. And they courageously took their own lives so it might never be seen again. I don't understand. There was a survivor. A baby was smuggled from the castle. A baby whose bloodline continued through succeeding generations. And what does this mark mean for each of us? 
It means that one of you is a werewolf. What's going on, Kim? That's exactly what I'm trying to find out. But all I've heard so far is a lot of rubbish about werewolves. David, it's not rubbish. The Count told me about the werewolves. So you've been influenced by him as well, have you, Anna? It's not a werewolf. It's you who's doing the killings. Nothing could be further from the truth. Have you never heard of an ancient religious order that means in English the martyrs? They don't still exist. They do exist. It was the organization that brought you here. Why? To find which of you is the werewolf and to kill it. But if each of us has the mark, then any one of us could be the werewolf. There is only one werewolf. And it can only be destroyed by one of its own, someone who has the mark. You have the mark as well. Yes. My order has searched for someone to kill the werewolf since the 16th century. By the will of God, it found me. We must kill it before it kills us. And what about this cast? This is its lair. We knew if we opened it, you would return. We just had to create the ruse to bring you here. You used us as bait. Yes, but together, some of you may survive. Individually, it would have tracked you down. You would most certainly have died. Why did you tell us the professor left the castle when David found him in the water channel? Why don't you ask David? He is the werewolf. What? No. There is an ancient Hungarian proverb that says, check the one who looks the most innocent. You are the werewolf. I don't believe a word you've said. It's all a pack of lies. I regret it was necessary to deceive you at first, but you must believe me now. I did. We all did, except Richard. Now five of us are dead. If it lives, you will be damned forever. You never stop trying, do you, Count? But it's finished. You must be stopped, whatever the consequences. What do we do now? Lock them in the cells. Please listen to me. He will deceive you, he will manipulate you, and he will destroy you. It won't work, Count. Move! drives a man to rip out another man's throat. This is madness. Yes, I think that's exactly right. You will make the decisions he wants! How can you be so sure? Stop being so naive. Of course it's him. But he could have killed us at any moment. It wasn't part of his plan. Don't look for rational behavior. There is none. What about his ankle? One moment he can't even walk on it, and the next? The water channel, where he'd never been. I found a button from his coat. You were with Richard. What did he say? OK, OK, so you're right. What do we do now? There's only one solution. Of course, we inform the authorities. They'll never believe us. You must be joking. It's our word against theirs. Only if they testify. <sighs> no, don't even think it. You want to see him set free? No, but you can't be judge and jury. Then who killed everyone, Anna? You? No. Mary Lou? No, she's been asleep the whole time. You think it was David? Or me? Oh. But it still doesn't make it right. We don't have a choice, Anna. They have to be gotten rid of. OK. Then let Mary Lou have a say. It's unfair that she should bear the responsibility for your actions without any of her input. Right? All right. I'll get Mary Lou. We'll put it to a vote. Fine with me. While you get her, I want to check the battlements. I want to find out what's out there. Coming with me? No, I still feel a little faint. I think I'll stay here. Thank you. Anna, we're all in this together. There's no other way.
They were going to kill you. Mary Lou? Mary Lou? Oh, God, no. You've done the right thing. You've saved your own life as well as ours. What are you going to do now? Anna, everything I've told you is true. You must understand that. David is the werewolf. He has to be stopped. What are you saying? I have to destroy him before he kills all of us. And what about the others? It's wrong. Mercifully, they'll be saved. No, I won't let you. It's for your own good. You'll be safer here. I mean, get back your letter to the third Let me out of here! I'll leave you the key. If you leave this cell, you will probably die. Wait two hours. If I haven't returned, may God protect you. Ez a legjobb mód, hogy biztosak legyünk. A többieket minden áron értesíteni kell. Mit nem kellett megenni? Yes, 
Catherine and Anna have seen them. No! He's killed them. What are you talking about? Mary Lou, everybody is dead except us. The Count has murdered them. No, this isn't real. Please say it's not real. The Count will not rest until we are both dead. I must kill him. No, this can't be happening. Mary Lou, take cover in one of the bedrooms. Stay until I return. David, wait! I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to take my hand away from your mouth. Please don't scream. Where are Peter and Susan? Dead. They were trying to kill David. Mary Lou, David is the werewolf. No, there's no such thing. Have you ever heard of satanic possession? where the devil inhabits the soul of a human being. Yes, but... He is possessed. In a moment, when the moon breaks through the clouds, you will see. He will transform. He cannot help himself. Watch out! Ah! No! Stop it! Stop it, I'll shoot! Put the gun down. Kill him, Mary Lou. Mary Lou, put the gun down. Shoot the gun, Mary Lou. Trust me, Mary Lou. Kill him. Put it down. Possess. Mary Lou, don't shoot. Mary Kill the world. Don't, don't shoot. Kill the beast. Put, put the, the gun, gun down. He is possessed. Trust me. Put the gun down. Kill him. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Everything's all right. It's all over. The werewolf? There was no werewolf. Really? Yes. You're positive? Yes, there was no prophecy. It's only a myth. People don't turn into werewolves. 